So the great thing about the CDT is you start in your first year and you do lots of different courses and you learn about what is material science. At the beginning we all went to Cumberland Lodge and that's a great way to meet your cohort and really build those strong relationships. Doing my masters I really fell in love with doing research and I found it really fascinating. I wanted to make a sidestep into engineering and the advanced metallic system CDT was the perfect place to do that. It takes PhDs from chemistry, physics, engineering and trains as material scientists. My background's in chemistry so I wanted to sort of uh, stay within that area. When I saw the project on the corrosion of zirconium alloys um, that really suited my background. The thing that got me interested in the PhD was more the advanced techniques that we're using to characterise these kind of materials. Like the microscopy that we do, uh, we can look at things on a very fine detail like on the nanoscale. I find that really interesting. Every project has at least one industrial sponsor. I meet up with my industrial sponsors probably once every four to six months and present my work. And it's a great way just to meet people in the industry, keep your work relevant. It allows us to, to get a real life perspective on what our research is influencing in the real world. I personally have meetings every six months where, with Rolls-Royce to discuss my progress and I submit a report every year. My industrial sponsor is the National Nuclear Laboratory. The great thing about having an industrial sponsor is one, you get to use a lot of their facilities and equipment, but also you get to tap into that expertise. It's quite a varied uh, life being a PhD student. I spend some time in the lab preparing samples. I spend some time on the microscopes. We also spend a lot of time um, in meetings and, and going to conferences all over the world. We're quite lucky in our, in our project that a lot of our collaborators are quite international. Um, and we go and present at conferences, mostly in the US, but also in Europe. With the supervisors, we normally have uh, weekly meetings. Uh, so we have a meeting with the group every Friday afternoon, and we also have uh, meetings one-on-one. -on -one. You actually become a world expert in what you're doing yourself. So Michael, my supervisor, became more of a, of a sounding board and discussion of ideas and what to do next. Very helpful in that way. During the CDT, I've gained the skills that will allow me to do research in multiple fields, not just what I focus on in my PhD. I'd really like to expand on that knowledge. The ideal long-term goal would be to get an academic position at a university. I've really enjoyed working on the academic side of things. A lot of academic research is more blue sky, and I kind of like that freedom. During my PhD, I've done uh, a lot of working with different companies uh, during that time, and so I hope to pursue those links and potentially get a job uh, in industry when I finish.